Thousands of Tennessee third grade students may not have planned on heading back to class so soon. Well, they're now in summer school because of the score they received on the TCAP reading test. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald joined students in Rutherford County today for their first day back. Woke up, ready to go. Had a sip of coffee, ready to go. In Smyrna, school is back in session. And what does it mean to lurk? Even the kids who don't go here had a smile on their face. They were excited to be here this morning. On the first day of summer school, classes met in the gym at John Coleman Elementary School. We had the bleachers pulled out a little bit, and third grade was the biggest. There are 330 kids in this summer learning camp. Was eating sheep. 102 just completed third grade, where this year the TCAP reading test determined if they passed or failed the grade. When I give you my signal, you're going to go around with your group and look at the pictures. During the school year, the summer school principal is an ELA instructional coach. I think it's very important, just not at eight and nine, but just before kids even come to school, that we read with our kids. Across the state, third graders found out two weeks ago that six out of every 10 of them would be possibly going to summer school. And for nearly half of those kids, they didn't have much of a choice. If they took the retest and failed it, then they had to go to summer school. In Rutherford County, roughly 1,000 third graders are doing summer learning. This is the third and fourth grade hallway. While the new third grade retention law forced some kids to go, others are in the free program to get ahead. Some of the class sizes are a lot smaller so we can hone in on what the kid is missing and give that kid that deep instruction, individualized instruction to meet their needs. Dr. Alexandria Wilson says teachers recognize that the law put a lot of pressure on third graders. They won't feel that here. We're going to show that kid that school is really not a bad place. It's not jail or it's not a place for you to be grumpy or standoffish. So would that be nonfiction or would that be fiction? fiction. We're all going to come in and wrap our arms around that kid and the families that we serve to give them what they need to be successful. Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Across the district, there are significantly more teachers staffed for third grade. At John Coleman, for example, there are 10 teachers in those classrooms compared to just two for fourth grade.